to our nighttime routine. Little Gia. She's so cute. She's two and a half weeks old right now. So I just want to show you a peek into what it's like during the night with a newborn. So it's about 9.30 p.m. right now. We're going to feed her and give her a little sponge bath. So I'm going to go warm her bottle and then I'm going to give her a diaper change. Okay, so I just finished warming her bottle. It should be done. It's been in for about five minutes. We're using right now two and a half ounces of Infamil NeuroPro Gentle Ease. She was on the regular NeuroPro, but she was having stomach issues. So our doctor suggested we switch and she's been great ever since. Let's go into some of the water out of here and test it. That's good to go. Turn that off, throw the water out. Tommy Tippy bottle warmer, by the way. It's really simple, easy to use. Highly suggested if you're looking for a bottle warmer. And we'll be back. Time to change the diaper. <laughs> Look at her, she's like, no cameras. Please. Okay, all done with that. Just gonna close up this Aquaphor healing ointment. This is for a diaper rash, but I put it on even though she doesn't have diaper rash, to prevent the diaper rash. Smart. And I'm just going to roll up this dirty diaper. And I actually learned this on YouTube that you're supposed to make it like compact. Never knew that. You learn something new every day. And that goes into the diaper genie. The hands get sanitized. Now it's time for the feeding. What works for me with burping is I'll do a burp halfway and then one after. I find that's way easier than waiting until the end to do a burp. I tried that once, never tried it again because it did not work out well for me. <laughs> there was a lot of spit up and there was some crying involved. So I try not to do that anymore. <laughs> Eventually what burp technique works best for me. She doesn't seem to like this one, this hold the chin and lean forward one, but we'll try it. She does not like this one. 12 seconds later. Oh, oh, that was a fart. So it's coming out of the other end, so that's a good sign. As long as it's exiting, right? <laughs> later. I'm going to try standing up and bouncing with her because that works sometimes. Many months later. Okay. I'm going to give her to her dad to try while I go prepare her stuff for her bath. <laughs> okay, so she hates bath time, so hopefully this goes well. Basically, my setup, I have warm water here. I use the baby dove, tippy toe, tip to toe wash. Got the lotion. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to calm her a bit before. Eventually. One eternity later. Please. Gia? Gia? <laughs> so much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay. Now we begin. <laughs> I wet this. What is this speck on my clean towel? Oh, I wet it. Go for her face first. All right, she let me get one eye. <laughs> That's a great start here. <laughs> a few moments later. And 
camera back. So her dad had to help me. He had to step in and calm her down while I bathed her. So pretty much I just did her face, her neck, her ears. I wet her body. Then I put soap on um, another a different washcloth and soaked it down. Steering clear of the belly button area. Took the... I can't even focus. I'm so frazzled. Um, then I rinsed her off with um, a wet plain washcloth. He held her while I did the back. Then we took her diaper off, cleaned that up, put a new diaper on. Now, the finishing step, lotion. Don't you like some lotion and clean, Regina? Yay. Yay, thank you for helping, Mommy. A few moments later. Her dad's going to get a new passy, and I'm just going to attempt to put this on. <laughs> bottom because uh we tried it the head way and she did not like that so we do it from the bottom <laughs> good job and we are done <laughs> she has managed to get another eye boogie so i'm just gonna attempt to get that off and it's off. <sighs> that wasn't so bad. She also has a little boogie, so I'm gonna try to suck that out with the snot sucker. It's okay, it's okay. This is the snot sucker. Woo! Way better than a bulb syringe. I got it out. Okay, gonna clean that after I swaddle her. So we are gonna prepare to put her down. So for swaddling, we like to use the swaddle knee versus like a traditional um, swaddle using like a receiving blanket because we don't know how to do that. <laughs> and this is simple. So she's nice and swaddled. And just going to rock her a bit. Like I said, it's about 1045 and her next feeding is at 1130. So I'm just trying to get her nice and sleepy. So we'll just feed her at 1130 and then she'll hopefully be out. I like to have the light turned off so she knows the difference between night and day. And hopefully she'll learn the nighttime is for sleeping. <laughs> We're back here again. I'm washing a bottle out to give her dad to feed her for 11.30 because I need a break. <laughs> So while he is doing the feeding, I'm going to enjoy a glass of wine because it has been way too long since I have done so. And I'm actually going to start editing this video. So after that, I'll probably help swaddle her after he's done feeding her and then we will see what type of sleep we get tonight. Like I said. <laughs> This is her white noise machine. This is her humidifier. And this is her sleeping peacefully. This is extremely close, but um, yeah. So swaddled her, put her to bed. She is clean, she's fed, she is sleeping. And that is all this first time mom can ask for. Um, so like I said, I will see you all when it's time for her middle of the night feeding. And until then, I'm going to finish my glass of wine and watch some Ozark. 3.28 a.m. A few moments later. So I handed the bottle off to her dad and he 
better, changed her, and now he's putting her back to sleep. Teamwork makes the dream work. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for experiencing first time mom done with me. I do want to redo this video when she's like two months old and we do have more of like a routine. Right now we're going with the flow because she's so young. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you have any tips, tricks, advice, comments, leave them in the comments. And like and subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you next time.